horse and buggy produce. Okay, uh, back again, uh, finally with Gabe in the equipment shed. We're going to look at this bean picker and see how it operates. So uh, we'll let Gabe take it away with the bean picker. So Gabe, uh, we got a, a big tractor here. <laughs> I got to back up to get it on the screen. And uh, this is the primary tractor that you use for pulling the bean picker? Yeah, that's correct. And uh, so now let's look at the, the toy, the thing that gets it all done. There's the bean picker. And this is known as a one-row bean picker? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And uh, so let's go. Uh, of course, how long ago did you buy it? We've had the bean picker four years. Uh, we bought it uh, used. It came from Alabama. And we used it the first year. It had some problems, but we got by with it. And in the following year, we totally rebuilt it and painted it, and it made it about like a new machine. Well, it looks awfully pretty, that's for sure. I remember when you first called me, what, four years ago? Yeah. And you called me up, and it was it was like music to my ears. You said, hey, Brett, uh, Gabe Wanger here, me and Lamar Wanger are thinking about growing green beans in much larger quantities than regular to hand picked stuff, which are so expensive. And we're thinking about investing in a one row bean picker. And I thought that was about the, the best thing I'd ever heard in my life, a one row bean picker. And uh, I said, well, I'll buy beans from you. And I think that helped you make your decision, if I remember. Yeah, that was that was a big help to us. Brad here uh, was helped us to make our mind up that we was going to go and get one because we knew we had one buyer. And uh, it's been very much of a success. Well, it, uh, and, and of course, we can thank all the customers, the horse and buggy customers. They're the ones who really made, made it happen. Yeah, that's correct. Buying we, the beans from you guys. The consumers are the ones we have to thank. Okay, well, let's go up to the machine and you explain how it works. All right. So let's start from the beginning. Right here, you can see the beans uh, go in right here. You drive, uh, taking one row at a time, and the stalks go in. And if you look, the head is setting on an angle. The, okay. The front end is higher than the back end, and that's so that it starts picking the beans on the top of the stalk, and as the bean passes through, it gets the bean right down to the ground. It does leave a few beans, but it does a remarkable good job. Huh. Then the beans are tossed up onto the rubber belt, and the belt takes them back, and they pass through a large uh, suction blower, that blows all the trash out and the bean passes on through and up the back conveyor and drops in the bin box. Well, let's, can we open up some panels? Looks like some doors here that you can open up to show, show what's inside or no? Is that? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Let's, let's do that real quick so they can see what it looks like inside. All right. Okay. Wow. That's a scary looking machine. So, so what goes on here? What, what is all this here? This row of all these, these little... teeth. There's all these teeth here. Look at that teeth. All those little teeth are the things that turn and knocks the beans off of the stalk and the leaves also and throws them onto the belt. Okay, so this thing is this thing is rotating. Yes, like it, that. it rotates and you, you don't run this machine at very high RPM so that it doesn't scratch up the beans. So in other words, this bean picker is not doesn't have a sickle on it to cut the, the bean plant. It just is hitting the beans and knocking the beans off of the plant. Right, that's correct. And if you look at the beans, it's amazing how that it does such a good job and does not scar up a lot of the beans. Well, I have to say, growing up on a farm, I was always amazed at farm equipment and the amazing job that it can do, that people are so inventive and creative uh, and have such engineering skills to create farm equipment to do all the work that, that machines do. I, I remember as a kid, I never could, I never ended, stopped being fascinated by a hay baler and the fact that as a machine it could tie a knot. I always thought that was the most amazing thing, that a, that a, a hay baler, had, there was a machine that could tie a knot in a piece of twine. Yeah, that's, that's all true. And this picker here, to look at it, don't look like it would do what it does. But we've been told that it was invented back in the early 60s. And we've been told that there was very little improvement needed to be made from the first one that was built, and I can understand why, because it does a wonderful job. Well, don't mess with success, right? Right. Well, can we take this other pan hood off, or is that a pain in the neck, too? Or, or? Yeah, we can take it off. Okay, let's take that off and see what's down in there. Okay, so now down in there, it's a conveyor belt. All right. 
So there's the conveyor belt right there, and it goes in this direction. The beans get flipped over this thing right here, right? They come off these things, and it gets flipped over in there, or is it going this way? No, it's going this way. It's, it's going it's this way. It's flipping the beans underneath. Underneath. Into the belt. Okay. And the leaves are also flipped over, and this brush... What does the brush do? This brush is to knock any of the excess leaves or weeds that might be attached to the fingers off so that it goes onto the belt and everything goes back to the conveyor. And then if you look back here... Yeah, let's go back here. And so the, be the beans are going along here on the belt. The leaves have been pushed off by this brush, right? Right. And then the beans go up this belt. And, and here, then what? Here's the blower. Wait, point there's to the blower. This, this right here is a big suction blower. I've got to step back a little bit. See that? Yeah. It has a lot of vacuum on it, and it sucks all the leaves and the dirt, and most all the dirt. It doesn't get the heavy chunks of dirt, but it gets all the leaves and the shaft out and blows it out. And just blows it up through the top? No, it has it has a funnel on the other side. If you if we look. Oh, on the I other see side, it. Yeah. Okay. So this is okay. And it blows okay. it all out into the field, and then the good beans. Here's the last part of the bean pecker. Okay. This here is the conveyor that takes it up and drops it into the bean box. Goes up there, and then kaplooey, right here you've got a, a big platform, and you put a big bin box, like a 20 bushel bin box on the back there, right? Right. Then And then you take a forklift and take the, the bin of beans off when yeah, you're done. Yeah, that's correct. Full. We use a skid loader with pallet forks and pick it off. And from there, uh, most all of our beans are taken to the bean shed where we run them through a grader to get out any of the excess dirt. I see, I see. So this has been a good investment for you. Right, yes, it really has. We've really enjoyed it. Well, that's terrific. And you share it again with uh, Lamar Wanger. Yes, we're in it uh, in partnership 50-50. That's terrific, that's terrific. Well, do you have anything to add about, about growing beans and using this machine? Well, I just, uh, just have to say, like I said, it's been a success, and we've been very pleased with it. it it's like everything is. It's got its, uh, the machine has a lot of upkeep to it to keep it uh, working uh, properly, but it's a whole lot easier than picking them by hand, and uh, I'd say everybody just keep buying and eating beans. <laughs> just, uh, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll promise you to do that. We'll do that. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate the, the explanation that, and the tutorial about how this bean picker worked. And do you have any plans for buying a, a two-row two row bean picker anytime soon? Well, if we'd ever buy another one, it would be a four-row. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. But All right, no, there we, we go. We don't have any plans at this point. So, <laughs> so far, this one here is still doing the job. Right, 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 right. Okay, well, terrific. Well, I am going to, I'm going to sign off. I can't thank Gabe enough for not only giving this this tour, but also for doing all these beans for us. I mean, it's really been a wonderful thing for all the horse and buggy customers. And uh, again, this is Brett, Horse and Buggy Produce. We bring the farm in a box to you, signing off. And uh, next week, we'll bring you another chapter on uh, where your food comes from. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.